Ah, uh, man. Nothing quite like getting extremely tired just at 10.40 a.m. But Bartholomew lives another day. We've killed 47 zombies and survived for two whole days. And we are about to pass out because going out while tired is a death sentence. So let's get a four-hour nap. And the way we're going to be doing that is by setting an alarm. There we are! We are no longer tired and ready to kill some more zombies. Anyways, we've been trying to escape West Point for a very long time by following the river end, and it hasn't been working out, so I'm hoping we get some more supplies and we actually escape this episode. I think as soon as we breach this dock threshold here, the zombie population spawns should be a little bit lower for me to handle. So you know what? I was thinking about looting some of the nearby areas here to maybe get some more supplies, but I think getting out of here as fast as possible is going to be my best chance of survival. Yeah, let's get a move on. And already we're tired again. I stepped a total of like two feet away from my house and we are already exhausted. Okay, we're doubling back. I'm gonna sleep. Try to get as much sleep as possible, and we can focus on fixing our traits as soon as we're out of the very dangerous city of West Point. Oh man, we need to manage ourselves so well. We'll sleep inside, not here for the night. We'll pick our original house. You know what they say, my body is a temple and I must nourish it with copious amounts of sleep. Hopefully we won't wake up in the middle of the night. There we are. It's 8pm, we're fully rested up. Hopefully that'll give me enough stamina to actually kill at least, like, 10 to 20 zombies. Yeah, it's gonna be a very slow process, but something we can make tangible footholds in. Yep, we're looking good. Let's get a move on down. See, even the most unfit survivor can kill, like, three zombies given enough time. Uh, that is one big group taken care of though, so we have been making a lot of leeway. The only thing I'm scared about right now is a group of infected moving up north, ruining all of my progress. Though so far, that hasn't been the case, so yeah, we're looking pretty damn good. Look at that! Look at that! We even leveled up Nimble! This is the start of a great character. <laughs> as soon as we can make it to the West Point Mansions to where I can work out without worrying about getting jumped by the undead. Uh, shouldn't be too much longer, though. There's probably going to be a few more groups like that up ahead, but we are no longer tired, so we can just move on down. We really don't have a lot of room for error. It's bad, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad, it's really, really, really bad. Okay, there are infected chasing me down. I don't have a lot of stamina for this. It's a more it's more than a group of two. It's a group of three. I'm gonna try to use these trees to cut them off, and hopefully we haven't exhausted ourselves enough. Oh man, it's terrifying. This is scary. Oh my god, they're so fast. Why are they so fast? Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We just gotta lose the majority of them by breaking line of sight. As long as there's only one or two following me, I will feel a lot better about my situation. Okay, we've ran a little bit. How bad is it? Just two, just two. Nope, it's the three. Okay, 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 back up a little bit more. Turn around, slam you in the head. <laughs> oh, I hate it here. Yeah, that was, that's enough for me, man. That's, yep, that exhausted us as well. Uh, we did kill all three, though, just barely. Yeah, no, that's how bad it is being me. Also, I'm tired again. <laughs> oh, I think the big problem for Bartholomew here is the fact that he's conspicuous, which means that zombies spot me from very far away, so it's very easy for a group of three to just look at me and hunt me down. I'm gonna hope we don't have another situation like that because running away is not really an option. Even with all of those trees we had in between us, they still caught up to me pretty well. I'm gonna go grab some sleep though and we'll continue this tomorrow. Okay, we have slept for a very long time. Matter of fact, as Bartholomew, I find that sleeping once 
Waiting two hours and sleeping again is going to be the best way we get most of our fatigue back. But boom, we are now on day three. And I think to celebrate, we are going to be grabbing ourselves some Din Din. And by Din Din, I mean some fresh uncooked chicken right in the oven. While that's cooking up, we can go eat the salmon as a nice little treat. And finally, picking up these meat cleavers on the ground because I can use them as makeshift axes in the future, which is something that I would really much enjoy. Aside from the scare yesterday, we are making a lot more progress and I am very excited to finally reach the final area, right? We're almost there, and very soon we will have ourselves a new checkpoint, which is going to be the dock right over there. At the very least, we are losing weight though and soon we will not be obese. Oh my lord. The groups of infected are getting closer to my makeshift base, by the way, so we might need to move. I don't feel safe here anymore. Yeah, no, there's another group like that size right below it. I don't think we're gonna go back home. And if we do, we're gonna be sleeping in the most corner, uh, house. Damn, dude. <laughs> this is getting real dire. Let's hope we, we can do this today, then. Yeah, no, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the damn Sisyphus meme, right? I'm just trying to make any footholds right now, and every step I take, more and more zombies pollute this shoreline. I don't know if we're gonna be able to pull this off, guys, but at this point, the sunk cost fallacy is already, like, in full throttle, right? We've went through so many weapons, our machete is still in good condition, but I did blow through a screwdriver, two knives, we do have a shovel left, but let me see how much ground we've taken. We've started here, and okay, we've actually gotten pretty far, but man, oh man, I don't know when the zombie pop is gonna end. And my guess is that the population line for West Point is gonna be about this house here. So we have... Yeah, no, we got a little bit, guys. We're gonna try to hammer it on through, though. It very, very slowly because of how many zombies are here and how bad things might end up for me. Okay, everyone, quick update. We forgot to fill up our water bottle, so now we are thirsty and tired. But I am a little bit hopeful. So let me kill this zombie really quick who tripped right over me. Thank you so much for that boon. Anyways, there are like three zombies left. But I'm looking ahead right now, and I don't see any zombies. There's another zombie down there. There's two zombies. Okay, hold on. It might not be that bad. I might be overstepping my boundaries a bit. I will be completely honest. But I think we are near the end of the population line. There are also baskets, not baskets, picnic tables uh, that I can rest up at. If you can't tell, I am very discombobulated with how much I've been through. But I think we are in the home stretch. Yeah, 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 we are, we are. Okay, just a little bit more. I might need to drink puddle water. That's okay. It won't kill me. The only problem right now is dealing with the zombies right ahead of me, which are coming in one by one. Beautiful. Oh, the things I would do for a spear right about now. Anyways, that's another two dead. Okay, there are still zombies, but they are, like, coming in one at one. We are normally tired now. I don't know if we can continue this, guys. Oh, but the, the cabin is right there. If I can make it over, I can rest up there for the night. Do I wanna, though? That's the question. I guess it's not too bad up here. I think we'll be okay. I just really don't want to go back home, especially when those two massive hordes were converging in on my location. So anything right now is a boon. Alrighty, we have finally made it over to the fishing dock. Watch it be locked. I don't see a lot of zombies around here, so I do think we can pull it off. It's locked. Of course it is. You know what? That's fine, because we did bring the meat cleavers from before. I can smash it in, and we can see if there's any lootable supplies in here. We have food covered. The only problem right now is a comfortable place to sleep and water. We'll see if we can handle those in the future. For now, I just want to create a small little shelter from the infected around the area. Oh, 
Oh, we're in, we're in. Okay, there's absolutely nothing here. Not even a place to sleep, huh? Well, I mean, we could sleep on the ground. I think that's our best call. So I am going to drink this unfiltered tap water, eat this entire, eat about half of the chicken we have, and go to sleep on the floor. I should have probably waited until it was a little bit darker out. It's fine. We'll drink it. It's going to make me sick, but we can hopefully sleep right through it. Alrighty, what a good rest. It's 8.40 p.m. We're still ridiculously tired and moderately exerted. I think we just need to move. Oh, man. If I had a spear right now, I would be so damn thankful. Still bright out. There's a lot of zombies nearby. I am just gonna have to bludgeon them, I think. Oh, man. Actually, I don't know right now. I think I've really put myself in a really bad position. If we can get into the tree line, I think all of the zombies will be dealt with. And I could stop by this home here, which usually doesn't have any zombies around it. Yeah, no, we can still do this. We can still pull this one off. We just gotta take it really, really, really slow. Killing one zombie at a time. Yeah, 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 I'm not even gonna kill her. That's how much we're trying to save stamina right now. We're gonna let her crawl and we're just gonna try to move on down. Okay, no, never mind. This is going terribly. I regret everything. Oh, this sucks. This sucks. This sucks. <laughs> Don't bite my ankles, please. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, I'm looking down right now. There's a group of three zombies, which is going to ruin my life. I have no idea what to do right now. I guess I could just go to sleep in hopes that I will sleep enough to where it will be a little bit more open. I don't have a lot of hopes about it. Maybe I can wait for one of the zombies to, like, move over and I can lead them in one-on-one. -on -one. I think those are the only ones that are actually there, though. Well, we killed more than I initially expected. We got all three of them in our path. It's a little bit too dark for me to be heading out now. So I think we are going to slowly move our way back to the fishing hut and sleep there. I could sleep on the picnic benches, but that is asking to get ripped apart from any passerbys, you know, out there. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to kill this last zombie here as well. If it, if it stands where I need to go, it is going to get me killed. And after that, I think we'll be all good to sleep. Well, we survived another day, and for some reason I can't continue to sleep inside here as my character is just extremely panicked out of nowhere now. So I think that's going to be all of the rest we're going to be getting. It's fine though, because that's going to be the last zombie and we're going to be able to move right on through. That or I could sleep at the very end of this dock line here, which might not be too bad of a call. I might go do that really quick because we're still highly exerted, which I don't really like. Though at the same time, we're going to be in a feedback loop of, you know, this entire ridiculously tired, high exertion. But uh, getting the sleep... Nah, you know what? If there's no more zombies on the trail, we should be fine. Let's just power on through. Sleeping on the ground is just going to slow us down. Bartholomew is here to escape West Point one way or another. So far, things are looking great. Let's hope it stays that way. Well, there's your answer. It's not completely empty. There are still zombies around the area, but it's just one compared to the handfuls I had to kill before. So I think we're in the home stretch. Really, we can fight one at a time. We might even be able to go around him. That'd be pretty awesome if we could. Come on, come on. You know you want to give it to me, game. Please let me be stealthy for once in my entire life. <laughs> nope, there it is. Okay, well, I can dispatch him. Not quickly, mind you, but I can kill him. See? It took like 10 whole seconds. All right. We are also finally excessively exerted. So, yeah, we are not going to be able to run away from anything. There's another zombie down there. As long as there's not two, we should be okay. 
God, I hate the forest. Also, don't mind me, ma'am, as I go take your shoes. Doing all of this stomping, this bare minimum stomping, has worn out my pair pretty damn well. So yeah, we got ourselves some new kicks. <laughs> Quite literally kicks. Please let that be the last to zombie. I think it is. Though if it isn't, please let it be just one. You know, in hindsight, I think this is one of the most pathetic ways I've ever escaped a city in this game, right? We just have this pathetic neck beard waddling, like, by the shoreline very slowly, terrified of even attracting a single zombie while being excessively exhausted, tired, panicked, depressed, having a nervous wreck, being unpleasantly high, and just about, you know, on the verge of death and collapse. But we have made it out of the hot zone, right? Let me pull up my map to show you. Yeah, we are right here. And the place I want to visit for a small little bit of recuperation is going to be this home right here. Hopefully we'll get food, water, and more importantly, a lot of rest there. I am also really hoping on my hands and knees begging and pleading that this place doesn't have an event like a party event or a survivor home event. I want this to be a home that is almost completely empty Aside from, like, one zombie, maybe. And that one zombie is kind of, you know, stretching it. Yeah, no, I need this to pay off. Okay, or else I am gonna have to trek about another few quarter miles in order to reach a safer spot. So far, though, it's good. I'm a little bit terrified, but the road to the house is gonna be right on across. And so far, I don't see any events with it, nor any zombies nearby. We have gotten queasy, but that's because of the, you know, the river water I drank in order to survive. Please tell me it's empty, and if it is, we are gonna be in a very, very nice position. On our way, we'll might as well do a little bit of foraging. I would really like to become a spear main with this entire character, because spears are the ultimate crutch weapon, right? I doubt we're going to find- ooh! Yo, free mushrooms! We're not going to eat those! <laughs> that would be an easy way to die. That is not as safe as drinking river water. Anyways, what matters is that we have made it over towards an actual home. A place to rest up, and a place to feel safe. No zombies are inside. The door is unlocked. Not locked. The window is unlocked, though. And there's no house alarm. Oh my lord, we even have Strength Volume 1 for beginners, First Aid Volume 1, a few carpentry magazines, and do we have food? Oh, we got food. Oh yeah, we are doing good today, everyone. Alrighty, we have escaped from West Point. It was a lot of work. It took, let's see here, about four full days, 89 zombies killed, and a couple of kilograms lost in weight. Our skills aren't looking that good, and I don't think we've lost or gained any negative perks meanwhile. But boom, we've made it. I think we're gonna sleep here for the night. So, I will see all of you tomorrow. Also, if you liked the video, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more. Oh man, that was a very, very stressful episode. <laughs> Peace out, everyone.